Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Fantasy Star 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I was doing a little bit of practice, and I noticed that apparently the best thing for me to do is actually go northwest of Zosa, rather than just go straight east immediately. But don't worry, we'll be going east anyway. I just want to take care of like this little something to the northwest first. Once we kill off these machines, of course. Which was pretty easy. Wow, they give me a nice bit of money. So I believe I have to go this way. And we'll find ourselves a little cave. LW Admir. That's a new enemy right here. Let's try the End Spear. Oh, it's an instant kill move. Alright. Well, it actually did its job. The Mist Veil. This seems like a pretty interesting cave. Still has enemies, but at least we're still in a good position to survive. I forgot to re-equip the pulse laser again. God damn it. Oh well, I guess we're gonna be fighting our way through all these guys. But I think we should be alright. Wow, oh, Roger's level up. He can use Saint Fire three times. That's actually pretty good. Wow, that was a lot of power. Oh, Ren leveled up. Good. I hate to remove so much power, but the Pulse Laser is better because it targets everyone. So we'll go with that. Oh, I see a treasure chest over here. Yep, here's another new enemy. It's a Hungry Mole. Technically, aren't all moles hungry? They pretty much attack you just to eat you. Oh, use a double slash. And <laughs> just peck Brute right in the face. Okay, well these enemies don't seem that strong. Oh, as soon as I say that, I get critted. Up, oh, a Chaz leveled up. Good. And then River. So now he can revive people that are incapacitated. Oh, that is so helpful. The more people that are able to do that, the better. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Really? You're gonna have me have a battle within one space away from the freaking chest? Are you seriously gonna do that game? Because you just did. And I think that's bull. <laughs> There. Oh, Rika leveled up. Okay, well, there is a silver lining that the enemies here give you a decent amount of experience. Like, a really decent amount. I think now we can actually go inside here. Hopefully this cave isn't too large. Alright, let's keep going here. Oh, here is a new enemy once we actually see the name of it. Oh, don't tell me you're all gonna target Rika. Oh, yeah, she got hit with three attacks. No wonder she was gonna die. Okay, Tech Plant is its name. So I'm guessing Spark will actually work. It should. I mean, it is like a... It looks like a machine. Nope, that did not work. So it's not full machine. So we gotta, like, bounce back here. Ha! Huh. Apparently was able to put us to sleep. But we're not completely out. Here, you're gonna have to use Sar. Oh yeah, we're gonna recover from this. We just did, we won. You're gonna have to use Sar again, just in case. Eh, Ren will be okay. That fight was a pain in the ass because Rika just kept being smacked. Alright, let's just see. Do we need to heal? Yeah, Chaz will need to heal. Because he got hit with a double slash earlier. Ah, Stardew. Okay, how much further till we get another level up? Let's find out. Ren needs over 7,000. Chaz needs 5,700. 5,800. 5,300. 
Okay, 5800. So, pretty much our party members are going to level up at around the same time, except for Ren. That's not bad at all. That's going to make us, like, equally strong if almost everyone's going to level up at the same time. Oh, come on, Raja. How can you miss that? Oh, yeah. We're cooking with gas with this flame sword. Worst case scenario, we'll come across enemies that are strong against fire. And then Chaz is useless, unless he uses magic. Or text. This is the Mysterious Valley. Meow. Wow, it's a cat. And the cat talked. We are musk cats. We can talk. Meow. We got some kind of feeling from you. Meow. Go on and meet the old man. Meow. Okay. Somehow, we get a feeling of fond remembrance from you. Meow. Okay, I'm guessing there's no battles in this room. Normally, neither Parmenians nor Dizolusians can enter this valley. Meow. Oh, because we're special, right? Very seldom do ha humans enter this place. Meow. That's because you don't let them. In all Dizolus, only this valley is warm. Meow. It's all because the cats. Hey, no, I want to talk to you. The old man has a treasure. Meow. Okay, let's see what that treasure is. We haven't even seen the old man's treasure. Meow. Then how do you know he even has one? The beauty of the old man's shuttlecock is unparalleled in this world. Meow. Uh, okay, that seems a little inappropriate, but hopefully you're talking about badminton. Meow. I can get the top off this bottle. Meow. Good for you. The weather in Dizalus is rather strange these days. Meow. God, I hope I get out of here, because I'm tired of saying meow all the time. All that is left of the muskcats are here. Meow. I'm imitating the old man. Meow. Oh, I thought you were actually asleep. Oh, it's a big-ass cat. Good of you to come, visitors. I'm the chief of this valley. Hmm, there is good in your eyes. No wonder you were let through. It's really strange. I have a feeling that this is not the first time we've met. I feel good about putting this in your care. This is a treasure that has been passed on generation after generation. Take it with you. It's the Silver Tusk. Okay. I believe the Silver Tusk is a weapon. So, it's actually not that great offensively. However, I recommend you keep it. So I think the Silver Tusk is good against demons or dark enemies. So, I would highly advise you keep it. Alright, let's get out of here. And then we'll just warp back to uh, Zosa. And then we'll go rest, and we should be good to go. I don't think we should go straight to the Garibur Tower. Like, maybe there's another reason this is going on. So I have a feeling if we go to the tower, we're gonna run across some very tough enemies. We should probably just do a little bit more exploring first. Oh, right. It's just like the Land Rover. You gotta get off the town first. Check out around this way. Hmm, this looks like a base. Climate Center! Gilaguya! Ugh. Okay, looks like we gotta fight right away. Here, why don't you hit it with some magic? If I remember correctly, this guy was able to use thunder attacks against us. So... This will not be a good idea to go out there and try to fight it. With fire. Uh, we don't have any... Yeah, we have Gibwa. Let's use that. Yeah, we fought this thing before. It's gonna use fire attacks, I bet ya. Okay, it didn't really hurt Ren all that much. So we'll just keep hitting it with thunder and basically these attacks, and we should be good to go. Giwat didn't do that much, so let's try Gigra. Like, we had this battle as soon as we walked in, so I think it was a forced battle. Ow! was not nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's recover all this damage. This guy should be done shortly. Eventually, I think it's going to need one more turn. Oh, wow! Raja got annihilated! That sucks! Hopefully this thing will still be alive by the time we bring back Raja. Ugh, just barely. Now Rika got hit with the fire breath. I think he's pulling out all the stops right now. No, no, what did I do that for? That's gonna be a waste. I forgot I was hovering over Reaver, not Gigra. God damn it. I just wasted points for no reason. And that thing is still alive. Unbelievable. Uh, just use regular res on yourself. There, that's better. Oh, it's finally dead. Got 2,000 experience for that, not bad. This seems to be the control system for the Zolacian climate. The monsters have been making a nest. As we suspected, this must be the cause of the abnormal weather. Let's investigate! It's no use! I've been telling you! The cause of the snowstorm lies in the Garaburg Tower! How can we never even ask him about the tower? Like, we just flat out ignore him. I feel bad for the guy. Okay, so now we're fighting protect bits outside of the Ice Digger, and we got an arthropod to fight too. Alright, let's do it up. I believe Rika's attacks will be very good here because you can use... Well, machines are weak against thunder. They might be able to resist fire, though. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, they really resist fire. Man, if only I kept that plasma sword. So I guess Chaz will have to be a magic user or a tech user for a while. Why do I keep calling him magic user? Only Rune uses magic. Well, maybe Raja, too. Who knows? Let's explore the rest of this area before we go any further. Yeah, it really sucks that Chaz is going to start using, like, TP now. Because his regular attacks are just going to be no good. I really set myself in a hole by selling that plasma sword. Wait a minute, can I put daggers on him now? Well, I, it's only temporary. Let's put some plasma daggers on him for now. Then we'll go back to the flame sword once we're done here. It's pretty much a last resort, so it's a good thing I kept those. Wow, and he missed with both of them. Good going, Beavis. At least he leveled up. And so did Rika. And so did Raja. And they're in Gizar. That's nice. And so did Rune. And they're now what? Which is level 3 water. Let's try going this way. I wanted to do as much exploration as possible before we go on to, like, the main rooms. Oh, come on. Like, one space away from the treasure. Alright, so there's a new one. I mean, it's a Wiredyne. I think these are machines, obviously. So why don't we just use Spark against them? Let's just put the herd on them. There we go. They are fully machines. Ooh, they can hurt. Wow, St. Fire does so little against them. How is Chaz missing every single attack with his daggers now? I know he's more accustomed to swords, but come on. Work with me here. Gizzard costs 24 TP to use. Well, at least he got Nares. 
I think we should save it for later, though. I don't think we're at the point where we'll be needing it. Oh, thanks, Bren. You level up for that. Pulse Vulcan! I think Pulse Vulcan, like, targets, like, only one enemy. Weapon that fires electronic beams. I guess we'll just keep the weapon he has now. Until we find something a little bit better. I know it's weaker, but being able to target more than one enemy is a little bit more valuable than doing a lot of damage to one. We can probably switch it up if we're coming close to a boss. Like, we can do it that way. However, we're not there yet. That crit was unnecessary. And you targeted Raja both times. Oh my god, you suck with daggers, Chaz. Why is this even an option with you? You have not hit an enemy a single time with them. Like, that's ridiculous. Alright, let's get Raja back, because he was targeted with every single attack. He cannot tank that many hits. Oh, here's a new enemy. A Dragger Duel. Whatever that thing is, it's gotta be destroyed. I'm still holding out hope that my daggers will actually hit. Oh my god, they actually hit. Thank you. Okay, there's nothing that way. There must be something over this way. Okay, hopefully there's something over here, like some good treasure. Ah, just a repair kit. Okay, I guess we're gonna check out the left side now. Because we haven't done that yet. Oh, this is like a big area, and we just entered it. No, no, I'm gonna have Raja defend, just in case. Cause I bet you if he gets hit, hit twice, he's dead. Wow. I really love that Gigra attack. I just gotta remind myself to use Ataraxia soon. When I say Ataraxia, it almost says like, sounds like anorexia, which I'm not saying at all. Guys, I'm confused which way to go now. Uh, yeah, we'll just take them out. Air Slash should be good. You're gonna have to defend again. You're gonna have to Gigra again. Now, don't get hit two more times. That helps. Ren, you can still get smacked around and it won't bother you too much. Basically, I want to make sure that I'm not going the way I'm supposed to go yet. Alright, let's continue on here. I feel like we're actually getting somewhere when we're going on this little catwalk. Hopefully, to say the least. Yeah, and I did use that Araxia in that last battle. That's why we have a bit more TP. It's too bad it only heals that much. Would have been nice if it was around 100. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. We're lucky enough to get some at all. Ah, 5,000 Mesita out of that box. Alright. That's a nice little hookup. Alright, now I gotta go all the way back. Because, you know, we only came here for money and nothing else. That kind of sucks. But it could be worse. We could have gotten nothing. Oh, Rika leveled up. Good. And they're Gizar. Beautiful. I don't think she has a lot of TP to cast it with, but... Hey, we'll take what we can get. Ooh, more treasure. Compo gear! Okay, that's gotta be for Ren. Okay, it only increases defense by two. That's lame. Gave him so little. 
Alright, we haven't gone this way yet. Ugh, come on. Work with me, game. No, no, Chaz, you attack the protect bit. I have good luck with Rika targeting the arthropods. He thinks that would be in my best interests. Because they end up getting eliminated. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't think you need full HP. Okay, now we're back on the same floor. Just on the other side. Okay, there might be something in here. Repair kit! Okay, that's good. Them getting the first attack, that's not good. Oh, come on. Well, I guess it can't be helped if I got, like, two spellcasters in my party. Eventually, it's gonna come to the point where both of them get hit, at least once. So, yeah, use a key res on yourself. Should be able to take them out shortly. Oh, Chaz leveled up. Good, good. And learned Rayblade! That's actually a pretty good skill. Let's check if there's anything over here on this side. Nothing! Wow! They make you go all this way and you get not a damn thing. And I forgot to heal Raja. That's because he never had a chance to have his turn to heal yet. Oh wait, I think Rika might need to heal too. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna save that Ray Blade for later, because I feel like it's gonna be important once we get to another battle. Oh my god. All three of them went before us. <laughs> Oh well, we're still gonna win. But I didn't want to take that much damage right away. And of course you miss with your daggers. Why wouldn't ya? Okay, I think we just gotta follow this room. Don't think there's any items in here. There might be some in here. Oh, there is! Combo armor. That's good. Uh, combo armor. Increases a defense by 10. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh, that one's already been opened. Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be a boss battle coming up, so let's get that flame sword back. You served me well, daggers. Well, actually, no you didn't. You sucked! Uh, napalm shot? go with a napalm shot. You know what, maybe the Pulse Vulcan did target everyone, and I would have just been a big idiot. But I think we should go back to the napalm shot. It only targets one, and we're likely only going to be fighting one enemy anyway. Oh, here's a new enemy. It's a deep bugger. Well, I guess you can spark this guy. We don't really need to fight him. Just use a cross cut. No, use an air slash. We're probably gonna be doing like minimal damage, unfortunately, but oh well. There, that saves us some trouble. Well, at least the air slash still damages them. Oh, Ren leveled up. Good. Um, why don't we just get in a battle on purpose? No, not the Pulse Laser. Pulse Vulcan! We'll just get into a battle on purpose, just to test out if Ren's Pulse Vulcan does target everyone. It did target everyone! I could have been equipping that the whole time! I should have seen that coming when I saw the word Pulse, but I wasn't sure. Well, I'm an idiot. 
Well, that's what happens when you never played this RPG growing up. You're not just gonna know everything. Wow, Spark actually failed. I was not expecting that. Okay, Rune has like very low amounts of HP and TP. That means he won't be that much useful in the fight. But we gotta use him, obviously. We can't just have him on the sidelines. Alright, then we can just put the uh, Napalm shot back on, now that we know the Pulse Vulcan I could have used against everyone. I didn't really want to fight, guys. Oh, great, now Rune's almost dead. Yeah, let's just run away. I'm so glad that actually worked. Yeah, let's see if there, there's a boss battle. Can I get there without fighting like 30,000 fights? Ha ha ha, you dolts. How foolhardy you are to come here. Morons, this was just a trap. Hmm, it seems like a waste to dirty our hands with stupid people like you, but being just a vessel that takes orders, I'll just have to do it. Wait, you said orders? But we've beaten Zeo and Dark Force. Whose orders are you acting on? You defeated him? The Great Dark Force? Ha <laughs> Ridiculous. D. Elm Lars. What the hell kind of name is that? Whatever it is, it's worthy of a Rayblade. Rayblade just sounds an awful lot like Beyblade. Okay, we're gonna have to hit things off on the right note here. Uh, let's see if you like Flaley. Okay, 87 damage. Not that great. Ooh, 411 out of that! Too bad I can only use it once. Wow, its magic sucked thanks to Blessing. Alright, you can give him a good smacking, Ren. And use Shift to power up Chaz. What else can you do that would be useful? Probably nothing. You can always, like, melee attack. No, actually, try Saint Fire. You can use Hume this time. Yeah, that did a little bit more. Okay, that was easier than I thought! Huh. Blast! This bothers me! He was talking like that creep Dark Force is still alive! Yeah. Chess. There's nothing wrong with the climate control system. So, it really was a snare. See? Just like I said, we have to go to the Garibrook Tower. Are you saying something else is causing the abnormalities in Dizalis? Well, obviously. If that did not work, then clearly something else is working against us. Uh, I guess we'll have to stop the video right here, and we'll probably wait till we got through like every single part of the game before we go to Garbrook Tower, and Raja's gonna be laughing in our face. See ya, everyone.